Sketch travel is, uh, is a, a just a simple concept, a sketchbook we pass around between artists. We started this project back in 2006 with my friend Gerald Gerlai. We said it would be great to just pass around one sketchbook between artists and just have everybody do a page. It ended up becoming much bigger deal than I expected, uh, just because it just was so much efforts from so many people. Most sketchbook uh, projects are either owned by one person who's trying to collect everybody's sketches, and it's either a fan, or or other times we, you know, they get mailed around. So there's no doubt that the great idea was to hand it, you know, really in person. Uh, from artist to artist. That really creates this wonderful web of, of connections um, throughout the world. What is different about sketch travel, people really had to travel. That makes it, you know, pretty special. We had this sketchbook with 70 pieces of artwork that are just absolutely beautiful and, and museum-worthy illustrations and artwork. But uh, to, to me, personally, what's so special about this book is the personal sort of encounters between artists. I feel like the book carries that sort of uh, personal journey of these artists. Seeing kind of the caliber of artists that were involved, a lot of people that I really respected throughout the industry and throughout, uh, also throughout the art world, it was great to see a volume of work that was collecting such such a particular taste of people that really were people that I admired a lot. So when I finished my sketch, uh, which was very a difficult task, you know, I flew uh, over to Montreal, and, and I, you know, the next artist was Frederick Buck. And he told me one thing and he, uh, while I was talking to him, and then he said, you have all this talent, you know, artistic talent. If you don't use that talent, to do something for the society, to make any something better in the society, it's a waste, you know. And uh, I remember I was choking up, um, and I feel like you know what? That's really it. There's something more that we we should do, and we have the, the certain talents, you know, certain uh, tools to to uh, convey something to to the world. Um, it has to be more than just entertainment. And that's what Frederick Buck kind of told me when I met him, you know. It's a collaborative effort that we didn't want any individual to benefit out of. So we said, why don't we auction it and the proceeds can go to a charity that we choose. And we ended up with this organization called The Room to Read. They build libraries around the third world nations. They also sponsor children's book publishing using uh, local artists, using local native language uh, about the native folktale. So we felt like it was a very um, uh, well-fitting um, cause uh, that we can support because we have a lot of children's book artists, we have a lot of storytellers in this project. There's a feeling of, of pulling people together. There's a feeling of doing something through your art you're not necessarily donating money, but you're donating your art, your time, and it's a great feeling. And people coming together, everybody is excited of participating, making art, and then wanting to buy art. We, we bid on each other's pieces. We, there's just such an energy, getting art, buying art, making art for a great cause. It's, it's just like, we probably are all collectors in one way or the other. We all love to do this, but when there's this extra reason to do it, when you're helping someone around the world, someone on the other side of the world, it just, you know, it comes together in, 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 with such a great feeling. This experience, more than anything, kind of helped to justify in my head that good people and good artists are synonymous and that, um, make that and I think that's what makes a project like this and Giving Torch Charity just kind of the cherry on top, um, which is that, you know, all these great people are coming together to make something for, to make the world better in the end. I think we made something special, yeah.